Hello my YouTube friends. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful day here in Kansas City and it may get more beautiful in a moment because we got a package in the mail. So we're going to open that up and see what's in it. So stick around. Alrighty, here we go. This is addressed to Magnum Videos and it's from SK... SKCPP? Yes. SK at PP. I have no idea who that is. But we're going to open it up anyway and see what's inside. So let us begin. This is exciting getting something from someone you don't know who it is. Oh wow. Ah. It's some neutral density filters for the Phantom 4. How cool is that? Wow, there's three of them in there. And let's see, it says Magnum. We love your videos. Hope you like these ND filters. Best SK. I don't know who SK is, but uh, we're going to open these up in a little bit. Uh, let me check something real quick here. The temperature is 66. The wind is only six miles per hour, so I think we may just put these on the little Phantom and see how they end up performing. Let's do that. Stick around. Let me get it all set up. I'll be back in just a second. Before we do that, I wanted to show you what was in the box because it's pretty cool. There is a, uh, a little quick start guide. There is a filter guide that shows the uh, ISO, the aperture, the shutter speed, the frames per second, which filter uh, to use, and which aircraft. So that's kind of cool. There is a, a little uh, cleaning cloth here. And the filters come in a nice hard plastic case that will fit nicely in my uh, Phantom 4 carrying case. So I will, uh, I will get these out and we'll take the Phantom out and give it a test and see what difference we notice with the different filters. So I'll be back in just a minute. You're not going to miss anything. Just stay right there. All right, we made a couple of flights, actually three, and all we did was just a vertical ascension and then a, a rotation and then a descent back down. I did one with the uh, no filters at uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second, and a 120th of a second shutter speed. And then I put the ND4 filter on, left all the other settings the same, did the same maneuver, and then we put the ND8 filter on and repeated the process. So I'm going to put those in next and you can take a look at them and see what you think. 